Well, former President Donald Trump now officially faces 34 felony counts for falsifying business records in an alleged hush money scheme before the 2016 election. Prosecutors now claim it just wasn't just one incident, but Trump himself continues to deny any wrongdoing, calling the whole case politically motivated. ABC's M. Wynn has the latest. Just hours after he became the first U.S. president, current or former, to be arrested and charged as a criminal defendant, Donald Trump took to the stage at his Mar-a-Lago estate. The only crime that I have committed is to fearlessly defend our nation from those who seek to destroy it. In his 34-count felony indictment, Manhattan District Attorney Alvin Bragg alleges Donald Trump made a series of hush money payments to hide personal scandals that would have negatively impacted his 2016 presidential bid and falsified documents to cover it all up. Donald Trump and others made three payments to people who claim to have negative information about Mr. Trump. The scheme violated New York election law, which makes it a crime to conspire to promote a candidacy by unlawful means. Trump's arraignment took longer than expected after the DA requested a protective order from the judge, citing significant concern over Trump's social media attacks against the DA's office. Judge Juan Merchan, who has also been the subject of verbal attacks from Trump, did not issue the order, but called on prosecutors and defense counsel to have Trump and witnesses refrain from making comments that might incite violence or jeopardize the safety of individuals. But just hours later, during his Mar-a-Lago speech, Trump, who did dismissed the case as politically motivated, continue to attack the DA, the judge, and even the judge's family. I have a Trump-hating judge with a Trump-hating wife. Prosecutor Alvin Bragg of New York, <laughs> who campaigned on the fact that he would get President Trump. I'm going to get him. Trump's defiant tone in stark contrast to his more somber one in court, where he was arrested, fingerprinted, and processed. Trump pleading not guilty to all charges. Legal experts say in New York, falsifying business records is usually a misdemeanor. But prosecutors say these charges rise to the level of a felony because it's in an effort to conceal another crime. M. Wynn, ABC News, New York.